Welcome to driving it home again. What better place than a backdrop of a modern gas station to talk about electric vehicles. That's right. We have a gas station here where they, they actually sell clean fossil fuels. No. So we actually have an article here today we're going to dive into about electric vehicles that uh, are coming out more often these days from different manufacturers and we'll talk a little bit later on about how that's going to happen in the future and how it might not be able to happen so stay tuned we'll just get through this and then have a little discussion afterward and in the comments it says uh, this is from Reuters it's Japan's Nissan to adopt Tesla EV charging design from 2025 in the US and Canada so we have our standards here for how we fuel up with traditional old dyno fuel. Now we're going to have standards for how to fuel up with electric. It says starting in 2025, Nissan will equip its EVs with the Tesla developed North American charging standard port, the NACS port, if you've heard that. The kind of a famous one. Um, Nissan on Wednesday became the first Japanese automaker to agree to adopt Tesla's electric vehicle charging technology in the US and Canada, joining global, global peers in expanding their fast charger network to boost EV adoption. Starting in 2025, Nissan will equip its EVs with the Tesla developed North American charging standard port as its targets as it targets 40% of U.S. vehicle sales to be fully electric by 2030. We're taping in 2023, that's seven years from now. The company said this in a statement. American rivals Ford, General Motors, and Rivian are among the companies that have accepted NACS, distance distancing from earlier efforts by the Biden administration to make the combined charging system or the CCS the dominant US charging standard. The White House has said electric vehicles electric vehicle charging stations using Tesla standard plugs would be eligible for billions of dollars in federal subsidies as long as they included the US charging standard connection as well. CCS standard. From 2024, Nissan will provide NACS charging adapters with its Aria EV models currently equipped with CCS to enable them to charge on Tesla's supercharger network. Tesla's superchargers account for about 60% of the total number of fast chargers in the United States according to the U.S. Department of Energy. So that's a quick blurb about Nissan coming on board with the NACS and many other companies will be coming on board as well uh, according to a recent statement. Now that the sun comes out we can actually talk a little bit more about the actual uh, solution because you can go to all the EVs you want but uh, they're not really going to become zero carbon uh, until you develop your power grid to not run on coal or oil or natural gas or other fossil fuels because those have a carbon footprint and when you charge your vehicle as we do with our EVs you plug into the grid and then most of that grid in America anyway is 80% or so fossil fuels so you're actually just shifting your carbon footprint over to another person's backyard so you're not really zero carbon and as we said in earlier videos the way to be really get to a zero carbon situation is to go with nuclear power generating plants and some of the small modular reactors are the key to that as we talked about in our other videos prior to this that you can check those out and 
let me know what you think about going to the NACS standard or keeping the CCS standard or if you have no clue what those are leave it in the comments you can share your opinion or you can just ask a question we'll take both so with that we'll leave it check out our other videos and make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time here on driving at home